How the powerful and rich are using woke as a vehicle of power to control the many. Woke authoritarianism serves a corrupt ruling class and is oppressive to all. And I'm going to call this uh, video the tyrannical authoritarian usefulness of wokeness to our masters. Now, I'm not going to read all of this article because it's very long and I don't have time to read all of it. But I'm going to read a significant portion of it. And I encourage you to read, go and read all of it for yourself. I'm going to read maybe the first few paragraphs and maybe the, the end paragraphs for you here. So the title that my brother gave this article, Bill Collier, is the editor of The Freedomist. Woke authoritarianism serves a corrupt ruling class and is oppressive to all. The woke authoritarianism being, and this is my brother writing, the woke authoritarianism being used as a vehicle of more power and wealth by our depraved and corrupt ruling class of corporate and government cronies and conceals their true corpo state nationalist ideology. And this is the phrase, like I said in a earlier story from the show and if you if you haven't watched the old, old show and you're watching uh, an excerpt be sure that you click down below because there's a link to the whole show below woke authoritarianism appropriates real concerns about racial equality and equity to sow division and hate it plays the tribe of the left and the tribe of the right against each other in an artificial manufactured conflict that transfers ever more wealth and power from the people to the ruling class, and I want to add that the people in the quote-unquote tribe of the left and the tribe of the right, the ranks and files, the poors, we poors, and you're, you're poor, one of the, the, the most basic parameters, this is the only one, but it's really, this one's the hardest core of them, is if you, if you quit working today and you could no longer survive, you're one of the poors. So that, that's where we're at here. So th we have far more in common with one another, whether even me, I'm not in either one of these tribes, but I have, I have far more in common with, with both of the members of this tribe, whether you're left or right, than I do any of the authoritarians that all of you seek to, to get the legitimacy and approval from. So we'll continue with what my brother has to say. This woke authoritarianism is perpetuated by the minions of the ruling class, useful idiots who may genuinely be fooled. These minions include the corrupt press, corrupt bureaucrats who put party and or parochial self-interest ahead of public interest, many to whom academics and enter entertainers and many, many, I think many of whom, many to most academics and entertainers and, and many or most corporate leaders. The counteraction by grifters talking heads, politicos, and useful idiots on the right. These are people like Steven Crowder that you'll notice that I have a lot of bad things to say about because he's one of the worst, the worst offenders in this area. Politics USA is, is the version on the left. Including their corrupt news outlets is reactionary swell. It's the tickling of ears is what it is. It's false prophets tickling your ears with what you want to hear. It is anger at the wrong people, and it tends to focus on denying that real problems of racism, bigotry, and intolerance exist and need to be addressed. And it totally works into the hands of the, the, the authoritarian right-left. Because then they can look and see, 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 we told you, see, see. It spins in the face of the actual disenfranchised and disadvantaged who face real discrimination. The goal of the ruling class, and albeit unwittingly their minions, is to keep us at each other's throats while they sneak away with the prize. That prize is our freedom, wealth, and happiness sacrificed at the altar of their craven lust for monopoly power and control over their fellow human beings which is the whole history of of the of the world it's all wrapped around these i call them not that all psychopaths are bad but all government psychopaths are bad so these government psychopaths that's that's the story this the the the, the governed being coerced by the governing and as in as least expensive a way as possible for the governing we must say no to this kind of dangerous and extremist thinking. We will not defeat racial bigotry or any bigotry with more bigotry and hate. All of this will do is empower the corporate state nationalists and their authoritarian agenda. The problem isn't the left. It is the ruling class. The left are not truly desirous of the dystopian nightmares of authoritarianism and monopolistic power and control. The ruling class are using the, the, and, and control the ruling class are using them and their legitimate concerns to lay the foundations for. So... Yeah, you're not going to get what you think you're going to get if you're if you're part of the quote unquote left. It's like 
I, I was speaking in a story earlier, when I was on board with the Department of Homeland Security and Patriot Act and the government using terrorists and extremists to define basically anybody on the left, because that's kind of what they did. Uh, yeah, I did so thinking that they would never use these weapons of war against me, but uh, I, was, I was a fool. To be clear, the notion of all, all white people are racist and all people of color are moral saints is comparison in comparison, is racism itself and bigotry? Never mind your racist definition of bigotry, which is what the Wokotarians have a racist definition of racism. And this is uh, uh, something he highlighted here from whoever Grace Culture were, were refugees. Grace is for you, at Grace is for you. I don't know who this is on Twitter. KKK, your skin color tells me all I need to know. Once I need, knew your color, I know exactly what to think of you and how to treat, treat you. Woke. Your skin color tells me all I need to know. Once I know your color, I know exactly what to think of you and how to treat you. And it's more than color of your skin. It's also your 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 sexual preference and your your biological identity. And I'll just read to, 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 to the very end here, these uh, last few paragraphs. And I encourage you to click on the link below to read the whole article. Our goal is to ensure as best we can fairness and equity, which is justice according to God's righteousness, which is rooted in love and the inherent equal value of every single human being in his eyes. We desire to see every person of ev any people group of any race or ancestry or shared social cultural identity in every economic class have a fair and equitable shot at happiness, fulfillment and prosperity and to live in peace and freedom. We know real racism and bigotry exist and this woke authority is authoritarianism is not in any way helping anything it is causing an increase in bigotry and hate and justifying violence and ultimately totalitarianism it is being used by the ruling class and their hidden ideology of corporal state nationalism to oppress us all right and left of every race ethnicity sex gender and the like it is bad for everyone and only empowers and enriches the few at the expense of our freedom wealth and and happiness. It is anti pores it is anti-disenfranchisement, it is pro-authoritarianism, it is pro-orthodoxy defined by priest kings who remain unaccountable to the people because of their very status as being priest kings. This is the return of the Bronze Age, folks. They want to end the Axial Age, the age where we began to develop ideas about wisdom outside of our our temporalities defining our governance and they want to return us to a temporal type of governance in which priest kings can act on the fly to modify the world around us to make us in their image rather than allow God's image to emerge within us all consensually. 